made a few projects recently using 4x4 membrane keypads with the BBC Microbit. Uh, I made a calculator like this one here. If I do 22 divided by 7 and then press equals, we should get the answer. Uh, I made a wireless communicator. Uh, most recently, I recreated the 1970s game Mastermind. I thought it might be interesting to focus in a bit more detail on how keypads and by extension computer keyboards work and unpack some more of the learning around this. And I think it shows how good the BBC Microbit is for understanding how technology works at a very fundamental level. But at the same time, it's still really quite simple and accessible, uh, for example, using block coding and really simple components. There are, for example, many Arduino projects for wiring up keypads like this, uh, but they're difficult to program. You have to use C++ and the Arduino IDE isn't particularly child friendly. And at the same time, uh, using provided Arduino libraries for things like keypads actually shields you from learning what's going on at a fundamental level. What I hope to show you in this video is how the Microbit gives you the best of both worlds. It gives you a simple, friendly online code editor. And yet in that, you're going to write your own program to scan and interpret key presses. While I was waiting for my uh, ready-made keypads to arrive in the post, curiosity got the better of me. And I decided, because I had a breadboard and a huge bag of these uh, buttons lying around, that I'd have a go at making my own. Um, I knew keypads were arranged in a grid or a matrix, but I wanted to find out exactly how they were wired together and how they work. So I found a diagram like this uh, online for the wiring of a 4x4 keyboard matrix. Looking at it in detail, you can see how they're wired up. If you look at each button, the left side here is connected together row by row. And the other side of each button is connected to the columns. They're all connected together uh, vertically. And this gives you um, eight wires for a four by four keypad, which sounds like quite a lot. But if you connected each key, each button separately to a computer, a calculator or a microcontroller, you need 16 wires plus a ground or earth wire uh, to connect to each button as well. So that's a lot of wires. So by using a matrix, we've managed to cut that down quite a lot. And this is also pretty much how a standard computer keyboard works. So here's a computer keyboard. Uh, if we actually look inside it, if I take the lid off, look inside, we've got some uh, sort of rubber here that makes the switches go up and down. But if we pull that off and look underneath, we've actually got electrical connections here that are wired up. All these dots are basically arranged in a matrix and the wiring goes off to the controller in the corner of the uh, keyboard that processes the signals and sends it off to your computer. So this is just another glorified matrix. It's a bit bigger than my homemade one. It's uh, a bit bigger than the uh, 4x4 matrix, but it's basically still a key matrix. That's basically how it works. So making my own keyboard matrix was actually uh, quite therapeutic and quite fun. It was quite challenging as well. Um, every column on a breadboard is joined together electrically and that poses a bit of a problem because I only want one side of each switch connected together. So that's why I staggered the uh, buttons in this arrangement here. And I used jumper wires uh, to make the connections along each row and each column. Uh, what you probably can't easily see is there are also jumper wires that go underneath the cable, underneath the buttons as well, uh, joining the uh, joining the rows together. Um, so electrically speaking, at least, I created something that was identical to a real keypad matrix, uh, even if this example only had 12 buttons rather than 16. Uh, once I wired that up, though, I had to think, how am I going to make this work? Um, I didn't realise at the time there was already a make code extension for matrix keypads, but actually I was really lucky because I had to invent my own way of doing it. Um, I knew some projects use different values of resistors to read pins, um, to use very few wires to wire up a matrix, but I wanted to do it using as few components as possible. And using a breakout board on the micro bit gives you access to extra pins. Uh, so you can uh, get easily get uh, access to eight pins on the micro bit to wire up a four by four keypad. And this is how I decided to do it. Um, I picked pins 0, 1, 2 and 8 for my rows. Now I missed some pins out here. You might be wondering what's happened to pins 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. I've missed those out because some of those pins are used for the A and B buttons on the micro bit and are also used for the display as well. So I wanted to keep those uh, so I can use buttons in the display in my projects. Uh, so I use pins that are not going to be used for anything else. So that's why I've chosen these pins uh, that I've used for the for the rows 0, 1, 2 and 8. And for the columns are connected to microbit pins 13, 14, 15, 16. 
using digital outputs and inputs on the micro bit on the pins is a simple way of detecting if a circuit has been made. So I created a loop in Metcode that sends a digital output to each row in turn. If it receives an input on any of the pins connected to the columns, then that means that I must have pressed a button and the program responds accordingly. For example, by showing the appropriate number or letter. I really didn't expect this to work, but I was amazed when it did. It worked first time. I didn't even have to add any code to debounce. It just seems to work. So here's my original project with my, um, is the original project I made with my homemade keypad. And if, you, if we plug that micro bit in, we should see, if I press a button, we should see numbers lighting up. So there we go, that's seven, eight, and nine. So I wired that up to be like uh, a normal calculator keypad and it just worked. Whilst making your own keyboard matrix uh, out of your own buttons and a breadboard is instructive. It is very fiddly and very time consuming. And you can still learn a lot by using uh, a ready-made matrix keypad like this. And it's really simple to connect it to the micro bit. All you need is a breakout board and some male to female jumper wires and you can wire that up. The code itself is really simple to understand. You can modify it to suit whatever project you happen to be making. And you'll find links to videos and code for all my microbit keypad projects uh, below this video. What else could you make with a microbit and a keypad? Do let me know. Please hang up and try again.